Kathy and I bought this lifestyle fifth wheel approximately two years ago. It's been a great camper. We love it. We love towing it. It tows fantastic. It stays right behind me. No wiggle, no waggle. Um, we've had a few issues. Uh, one of them was the axle. The spring for the axle broke during our U-turn. Replaced that. We also replaced the opposite side and we replaced all the wet bolts. We went with the Moride system that we picked up from uh, eTrailer.com. Uh, that was easy to install, great instructions. And we also had a brake magnet fall off and bounce around inside the wheel. It almost sounded like a pipe dragging down the road. And we couldn't hear it when we were cruising along and running on three brakes, the trailer still stopped well. As we crossed over to New York, a uh, small town there, a state trooper pulled us over and said, you're dragging something. We pulled over into a shopping plaza with the state trooper. We couldn't find anything dragging underneath the camper. I had Kathy get behind the wheel as I walked next to the trailer. We found that the noise was coming from the driver's side forward brake area. After bringing it home, we found out it was the brake magnet fell off and was bouncing around inside. Destroyed everything in there. We had to buy a whole new brake hub assembly. Not a big deal. eTrailer.com had what we needed. Good price. Easy to install. So we moved on from that. One other thing we've had an issue with since we bought the camper was when we run the internal fans when we're stationary or when we have a vent open as we cruise down the road, we would get a septic smell. It wasn't coming from the sinks. It wasn't coming from the toilet. It was coming from underneath in the uh, main compartment somewhere. So we just had trouble dealing with that. Of course, anybody would. And so we, we kept looking and trying to find things. I went up on the roof, pulled the caps off the vents, dropped a weight down inside on a string and tried to knock anything in that area loose. I thought we had it and took off with the small bathroom vent open. When we stopped, the whole trailer smelled like storage in there. So I tore out underneath, took a side panel off so I can get to at least the black water tank for the small bathroom. And the seal looked good. And as you'll see in this video, the back side of the seal for the three inch line that comes under the toilet actually was not incorrectly. It had, when they dropped the pipe in, the seal buckled in the back. And I think it's been there since day one, since the camper was built. Maybe the prior owner had the same issue with it and they said he got rid of the camper, not sure. So this video is an instructional video to show how I hopefully solve the issue. Today we're going to pull up, pull up the toilet, because I think that's the easiest way to do it. We're going to pull the um, flange for the toilet off, and that should draw the pipe out of the tank. And then I'll be able to reach in, it's only about this far down, and fix that seal, lower the pipe back in, reinstall the toilet. So, here we go. We removed the side panels to expose the top of the black tank. Everything appears to be okay. Don't see any issues. Seals look good from this side. And then we rotate it around the back and check that out right there. The seal has dropped inside the tank, allowing fumes to come out of the black tank. I think we found our problem. I do believe this happened at the factory. Okay. I'm going to take off the toilet. A few things we've got to do. One is we've got to remove these caps, take these bolts out, one on each side. And we also need to disconnect the water from the rear. Can only be finger tight. You have to put an adjustable on it. Crossing edge. There we go. I'm 
Little antifreeze coming out. No big deal. Let's see what we got here. Half inch. Bang on. I believe we have a half inch socket. We'll grab that. You just lift right off. Okay. Dirty job. So, here we go. There's the toilet flange. As you can see, it's not too far down. Where the tank is. So, right now we've got to take off these screws here. And what I'm going to do is get my. I'm going to get my um, power tools for that. I'll be right back. Well, they weren't messing around. That one missed. That uh, one almost missed. That was a good one. Six out of eight had a great bite. All right. See if we can get this thing out of here. I gotta pull that gasket out of there. Hopefully, I can reshape it, reset it, and reinstall everything. <clears throat> okay, here's the gasket. What a mess. Hmm. I'm going to go clean this up. And as you can see, this flange was popped out. Then we just need a new one. 
Let me go see what I can do with it. <laughs> 